All right, we are back for the golden shot here. And I just wanted to kind of go over both these holes for you guys so you could have an understanding on what to do for your golden shot. Let's start with the medium one and work our way up, I guess. And I believe this is rookie tees here. So, I'm just trying to think. So, with uh, murky tees, I usually use uh, right around three and a half, four backspin on a Guardian, usually. Well, Sniper, too. It just depends on how weak my bag is I just started a new guest account and for this uh, tournament I used uh, Guardian because my sniper's still a little bit too weak in terms of some of the stats so I've been using a Guardian on this one so I'm assuming the golden wood here and as you can see we got enough backspin that this isn't going to be a real issue you have 50 backspin which is half your backspin which will give you at least four and a half, five bars, five bars ish. So we're only going to use about usually three and a half, might up it to four, four and a quarter if it's downwind. But the usual is going to be more three and a half. And one of the reasons I use three and a half is to give it just enough rollout to where it can get to the hole. And isn't going to just basically, you know, die on impact on the bounces. So let's take a look at a couple shots here. And as you can see in terms of the wind, whoop, wrong one. I don't know how to pull that up, but you can see it's three to five miles per hour. So what did I say? Two per ring. Yeah, I usually play this at max club. And it's usually pretty spot on. So that means you're going to want to keep your ring adjustments between one and a half and two and a half rings. All your adjustments should be within that tolerance zone. So that's going to make, no matter what wind you play, very easy to play. And as you can see, we're starting off with an into the face and I like to put this right spin on it to kind of use this slope and get the ball funneling towards the hole. So here you're going to see me use the three and a half I mentioned. Put it towards the beginning of the bullseye here just to get it kind of funneling towards the hole and like I said two per ring that's going to be two rings here. Great ball. I don't know if the great ball is going to be overly concerning as long as it hits the green there because you can see it just kind of comes in with more cut spin when you do that. It's one of the things that's going to make this shot very easy for you guys is you have a little bit of leeway when you pull it up the slope like that. I'm going to try to avoid doing that in the future. But um, as you can see, none too bad. And like I said, you know, I'm, I, I think the technique is kind of putting that right cut spin on. Um, with this wind, to be honest with you, I'm going to kind of flip it and do four and a half back spin. Uh, I, I really like to play with the wind here. So the only problem with doing this here is you can't really see the... You can't really see the ball guide, but I'm going to set up towards this blue circle and see if this isn't too bad here. Let's just try this once or twice. And like I said, you know, keep all your adjustments between one and a half and two and a half rings, no matter what. Another great ball. Hopefully that's not the end of the world. And it is coming in too hot. All right. So I'll make an adjustment off that first shot. Like I said, with no ball guide, it kind of made it hard 
for me to have my bearings to do that. Well, I, you know, I usually do it with five and a half backspin. I don't think I have maybe five and a half, six backspin. I might not have that. So it might not be beneficial to even go for that. Yeah, because I only have four, four and a half here. And like I said, if it is downwind, we are going to up the backspin. So there you see me putting it at four. And once again, this is pushing a max adjustment. So you're going to see me go two and a half rings. And just too much roll out there. But you can see that's the first one I got to the right of the hole going that way. I'm going to kind of stick with that, I think. I think the the right to left is going to be a little... I do like to do it um, when I'm playing for myself. That right to left that you saw me do on that one shot. But in terms of this golden shot, I just think it's a little too challenging. Because you don't have enough backspin. So you are going to see me not do that. But here you can just kind of get a sense for where I'm putting it. Which is kind of right there. For the ball guide. And a ring and a half here. Nice small simple adjustment. Perfect ball. See if I can't sneak in and get one of these other rings real quick. Looks like it's coming in too fast, just barely. So that's the line, though. And you know, I'm not too overly worried about this uh, golden shot. Um, I'm more than content just to get you guys right in the zone a little bit as to where you need to put it and if you want to keep shooting for the hole in one you are more than welcome to do so as you can see this shot is very manageable you know keep all the adjustments between two and two and a half rings like I mentioned great ball hopefully I got enough down this slope to funnel it. Nope. So sometimes the great ball can still work out for you if you great ball it to the left. Other times it won't. But as you can see, I had a lot of backspin on that as well. So that kind of deterred that ball from getting to the hole. Here you're going to see me only use four bars because it's not quite as downwind. And if I get in the zone here, I'll, I'll be content to just give up on this one. I'm not too worried about all these. It's not really a big deal to me. If I get these uh, chests. And another just graze by. So let's give this one more effort here. But like I said, not too concerned with this one. So you're not going to see me really sit here and just kill this thing to exhaustion. I'm more than happy with just getting you guys in the ballpark and hopefully you guys will have a little bit more luck than me. You can see where I'm kind of setting up on the fairway or on the green. Another great ball. Jeez, it's just not my uh, not my time. It could still sneak in, but uh, I'm really making things harder on myself. I just don't have the timing right now, so I'm not gonna. I mean, that's all I'm gonna play anyway, but. 
you can see how that makes easy work of that. And like I said, you can easily clear that if you want to. Um, well, the only one that, you know, you can't really guarantee is the hole-in-one. But you should be able to get in that amber ring. I almost had it twice and it just rolled out on the back side. But, uh, you know, with just a couple tries, especially if you have wind into the face. Those are the ones that make that easier to stop the ball because it doesn't come in so hot. So I kind of got the short end of the stick there. And they kept giving me downwind. So it just kept kind of trickling a little bit too much. But let's talk about this one now. And again, I'm going to re-up here for you guys so you can see the shots. Notice how the wind increased on this golden shot. Oh, I didn't mean it. To, I shouldn't have done that. Um, okay, so I'm kind of short here on time. What I like to do is put a little bit of right spin. Um, I am going to... Uh, so I'm starting off with the hardest wind here. You're going to see me go up into the green here, like this. Bounce it off this fairway. And 1.7 is going to be my adjustment just going to basically be a bullseye. Oh wow, into power. Crazy. <laughs> Ridiculous. I should not have to go in to power on a golden shot. It's a bit ridiculous. Let's see if I can't. Not too bad. Just ever so slightly had to go into power there. Let's see if I can't get some, nope. Of course not. One of the things that you want to make sure when you're doing this is you're using 1.7 per ring, which means you're going to keep all your adjustments between three and five rings. And as you can see, I started with the worst wind you could get off the bat. So hopefully that's out of the way. And you're going to keep your spin between Basically one and a half and two and a half. And I like to put just a little bit of right spin just to kind of, you know, keep yourself away from that rough a little bit. And like I said, you know, five wind is going to be three. Eight wind is going to be five. So you're just going to kind of keep it within that tolerance zone here. Oh, Jesus. So, a very frustrating golden shot right now. That I just can't, my timing is just so awful. So, you know, more than anything, use my method and just make sure that your timing is on point. And I think you will be able to make quick work of this, not too bad. The more that it pushes to the right like that, make sure that you up your side spin because that wind is going to kind of counter and end up to the uh, you know left of the hole if you don't do that so that's the biggest thing that you want to keep in mind but aside from that you know just play the same tolerance every shot oh Jesus So, a very frustrating golden shot for me. I, my timing is just completely out of whack right now. I never hit this many uh, great balls. So, very disappointing to say the least. Not even giving myself a real chance. This is the one that, you know, you're not going to even give yourself a chance if, if you're not spot on. So, make sure... That you are doing everything in your power to be very precise with your movements. And you can see even with even with knowing this hole 
it's going to be it's going to be a challenge. Now I should be able to get that crimson ring and amber chest. Well, you can technically get the hold in one. I, I'm getting a lot of weird side wins that are making my life a lot harder. And I'm going to up the backspin just a little bit here. Make it two and a quarter bar. And this is the time that I'm going to take off the side spin. I do not believe it's going to need it. And here you can see this is going to push max adjustment. So I'm going to go all my rings here and take off that side spin that you've been seeing me use because the ball is already going that way on its own. So here you see me finally getting one, which is nice. Took care of the hardest ring. So that's the big key. B-52, man, I really need Apocalypse cards. Uh, so it's just frustrating to see, you know, chest after chest not be the way that you want it to be. And again, just, just be thinking about what you need to do with the uh, side spin. Because there you see me take it off completely. It has to do with the way that the wind is pointed. So you want to be very careful with the way you're doing things. Notice how I'm keeping the ball to the right because I know if the wind is pointed left. It's going to want to bring the ball back. Oh my god. I cannot believe how bad I'm doing with my timing. And just outside the crimson chest. So my timing is obviously all out of whack. I am going to take a break from this. I might do a couple more shots. But, uh, you know, good luck with this golden chest for you guys. Um, I think this hole is manageable. You just got to play smart. Play your wins. Make sure that you're fluctuating your side spin as needed. And same with your back spin. If uh, you know you need to up that to two and a half bars and uh, go as low as maybe one and three quarters, depending on uh, you know if it's straight in the face, you're gonna want to go more one and three quarters all the way up to two and a half for your uh, backspin. It's just going to vary on which direction the wind is pointed, you know, more into the wind. You're going to take off some of that backspin because the wind is going to be putting on extra backspin and vice versa. You'll do the opposite if it's downwind. You know, that's going to make the ball come in a lot faster. You're going to up the backspin to about two and a half bars and hopefully, you know, perfect your landing zone there. And, you know, the most important is going to be perfect ball timing. You know, had I, uh, had I had all perfect balls there, I probably would have all of them cleared out by now. So keep that in mind. Good luck with your uh, progress on both these golden shots. And let me know how it goes. Hopefully you guys get some good chess. Feel free to post them in this uh, Facebook thread I'm about to post on Golf Clash Legends for you guys and probably Golf, Sh Golf Clash Elite as well that I'm going to post both these Golden Shot videos in. So good luck with your uh, progress on both these Golden Shots. Let me know how it goes. And... Uh, See you guys on the next video. So good luck all.